Knockout percentage at 93%, one of the highest in boxing. Unbeaten as well. 27 and 0. 17 of his last 18 fights have ended in a stoppage. Tank, if you would, talk to the people about this fight on January 7th. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Showtime, you know what I mean, Al Heyman, my personal team. Um, got uh, Mia Addis for definitely getting me through this camp. She trained with me day in, day, in, day out. Um, the undercard, uh, a stack card, I feel as though um, Saturday night, the boxing win, you know what I mean? Um, it's a stack card from, from the first fight to, to my fight, you know what I mean? So. I feel as though um, we train hard for for in, in training camp. We did a did a lot a lot been going on. Um, I want to go over a little top I mean a little situation that he said on Facebook. Talk about he looked he looked like a lawyer and we looked like inmates or something. He said on uh, Facebook. So it definitely turned turned uh, turned me up. So. Saturday night, you definitely don't want to miss this one. This one's going to be a, a tough, a tough, a tough fight on his end. You know what I mean? I'm going to make sure of that. So uh, make sure y'all y'all come early and don't get no popcorn, don't get no water, don't get nothing. Make sure y'all seat, y'all butt uh, glued to the seat and eyes on the ring. I promise you. It's going to be something. It's going to be fireworks. So. Thank y'all for coming out and um, see y'all Saturday night. All right, let's talk about the fight. Tink, I'll start with you, because you talked about, you alluded to this, with everything whirling around you outside of the ring, how were you able to focus on this fight? Uh, this is my job. I've been doing this since I was, you know what I mean, uh, seven. I feel as though uh, it come with it, you know what I mean? Uh, if I stop now and then, I feel as though that I ain't really do what I, I came to do just yet. So I feel as though if I keep pushing, that's just a hump in my road. So um, just like this fight, I feel as though uh, I gotta get through this fight that, that uh, pass or go to the next one. So. I feel though it just it just humps in the road that we all have in life and um um I'm just human, you know what I mean? So and what do you think your feelings about fighting back here in the DMV, so close to home, where you, your career professionally started? It's, I, I would assume you kind of have a little more juice when you're back here. Uh, DC always been a sight man when it, when it comes to uh, boxing. You know what I mean? I think there's a lot of talent in, in, in DC that people sleep on. I feel as though uh, DC is a boxing a boxing town and got so much talent. And, and I'm a, I'm excited to be uh, to come back and, and fight in DC. You know what I mean? Like uh, my coach said, um, we used to have to get through DC just to go away. You know what I mean? So I always. You know what I mean? Um, treated DC like a second home. I remember back in the day, it was saying like a, a viral against um, DC and Baltimore, but I never really got that because I had a lot of friends like uh, Pat uh, Ramo. I had a lot of guys that, that I actually like um, used to come to DC and just chill with, you know what I mean? So um, I always felt like DC was um, a second home for me. So um, just coming back, and fighting in DC is it means a lot on a, a professional level. So I'm excited to be back. You know what I mean? I um I seen Lamont Peterson when he beat um a man Khan and I was right there and I actually held his belt after he won, you know what I mean? Um and that was actually the uh IBF belt and I won that my first world title, so um I'm excited to be back in DC, and I'm 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 grateful. And uh, Saturday night, Hector, 